1938, Congress decided it was time to formalize the chaos. Uh, the Civil Aeronautics Act was born, and with it came two new players. The Civil Aeronautics Authority, which focused on operations of air traffic control and safety, and the Civil Aeronautics Board, which focused on accident investigation and, wait for it, airline economics. Uh, yeah, they didn't just regulate flight. They regulated ticket prices. Who got to fly where? Uh, you couldn't just start your own airline and sell $49 flights to Miami. The Civil Aeronautics Board had to approve everything. This was the government basically acting as an airline matchmaker. You can fly this route, but only on Tuesdays. Oh, and your ticket must cost $87.20. No more, no less. Air travel was tightly controlled, but oddly luxurious. People dressed up. You got meals and coach. You weren't treated like a carry-on bag with legs. As the 40s, 50s, and 60s rolled on, we got serious evolution. Planes got faster. Welcome the DC-3, the 707, the Caravelle. Airports got bigger. Jet engines replaced props, and international travel became a thing. Airlines like Pan Am and TWA and Eastern became household names. 